if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos HTTP error internal server error this error occurred for different reason try with all the solution added in the tutorial solve this error in four different way first first one is installing IS second is installing feature of IS and as planet creating full permission of IS user in WW root setting version of .NET framework in w default app full first one is installing IS to install IS first of all click on start run yes cmd click on ok go to your dotnet framework versions folder in that case cd dot dot now cd windows uh, the location is cd windows folder and then cd microsoft dot net folder oh it's uh, an error system cannot find this path oh sorry microsoft mic microsoft dot net cd space framework cd space version version of your uh, .NET framework version is b4.0.30319 then in this folder there is an uh, exe file asp.net underscore rg is hyphen i uh, you must have administrative right on this machine in order to run this tool in that case uh, you run this uh, command prompt by uh, using administ administrative right cmd right click on the cmd.exe and run as administrator click on run as administrator yes now uh, do the same thing what you have done a uh, few minutes ago okay now I am just installing IIS in my machine in my computer okay CD Windows Microsoft .NET framework version okay framework version uh, B 4.0.30319 and in this folder aspinet underscore rgis hyphen i if it's not working then i are okay now it's installing start installing aspinet and yes finished installing aspinet and b 4.0.30319 okay the first one first solution is completed now second solution is installing features of is if you install is all the features will not install perfectly in that case go to the start menu and uh, click on the start menu turn windows feature on or off yes turn windows feature on or off here you can see just expand the uh, uh, internet information service from this feature expand the internet information service yes now expand the World Wide web service in this uh, portion expand application development feature you must select sp and sp.net it's default selected but if it's not selected then you must select and then click on ok sp and sp.net okay now second solution is done now third solution third solution is create full permission of is user in www root folder in that case uh, run my computer in the C drive in it for WW root folder where you uh, you keep your storied application right click and click on property security tab just click on edit here you can see IIS user select IIS user and click on full control apply and then click OK yes permission is uh, added now click on ok again ok it's done now fourth solution setting version of dotnet framework in default app if you full right click on my computer click on manage and ex uh, click on uh, expand the service and application click on internet information service is expand and here you can you must select application full in this application pool right click on the default FEV pool and click on advanced setting yes here you can see dotnet framework version uh, it's selected version 4 if it's selected version 2 you uh, change uh, the uh, from 2 to uh, 4 
and then uh, click see, uh, enable thirty two bit application true and then click OK. Now the problem will solve.